Okay, so this will be a very quick video on my Bixla and I'm going to basically run through everything that I have on this aircraft and the way I've got things set up um, and where different bits and pieces are located. I'm not going to go into detail in terms of how to wire things up because I've sort of done that in a number of other videos. So um, all I'm going to be doing is basically going over what I've got on my Bixler and, and how it's generally set up. So we'll start first with the Security Camera 2000 FPV camera. Now this is the uh, camera that I'm actually using on my Bixler ever since, well, probably about two weeks now. Um, it's so far been really good, I'm happy with it. Um, I was reluctant to spend $45 on a camera, but look, um, it's well worth the money. Uh, the vision out of my FPV goggles, the Fat Shark Predators, look way better. Um, I do my recordings, as in the higher quality HD recordings, using the GoPro Hero HD2. And um, basically both these cameras clip into a plastic mount. Now I'm not going to spend too much time running through this plastic mount because I actually create these and I don't want this to be a advertising channel or anything like that. But um, these are mounts that I make and um, basically the quick release just clips straight into it and so does the FPV camera. Uh, it's got a number of ventilation holes in there which just allows you to feed your wires through and keeps everything inside the fuselage cool. What we have here is the GPS receiver from the Nova OSD and I just sort of have it sitting there on the wing. Okay, and a little bit further up what we have is my 200 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz uh, transmitter for my video. Um, so that's about it there. The wings are basically um, plugged in together. I've just got a bit of tape. I'm not sure how well you can see that. That sort of holds, holds everything together. I'm using a cloverleaf on my aircraft and a skew planer on the ground station. Now, as far as the prop goes, I'm using a, it's a six by four. And I'll have a link to all these bits and pieces in um, the description. And that seems to have made a world of difference. Now this aircraft in its current configuration can still fly with all the weight and everything that it has on it um, without an issue whatsoever uh, with the standard prop. But this prop just makes a world of difference. And power consumption, a little bit more, but not much. I could probably get 25 minute flights, half an hour flights out of it. Now what we have here, this is for the... Nova OSD, it's the IR sensor that helps uh, stabilize the wings. Um, and I have it mounted there uh, in it carefully over here. I think you can see the arrow there, the direction in which it points, and that's pretty important. Okay, and now on the uh, tail plane, I've just got these weights over there just so you can see how much weight I've needed to add here. I've got two of those big washers and a um, little nut that I've got there, which basically helps. Um, balance it out only because of all the weight that it has in the nose. Okay, as you can see, it's quite a mess in there. I'm gonna try and um, go through the layout of everything. Uh, what you have here, uh, my speed controller. Um, you can see where the battery is. Not sure how well you can see that there, but I have a little line that marks where my battery needs to sit. And that just allows me to get the CG right without sort of guessing where the battery's gotta go. Now, um, so I've got the speed controller here. What we have is the receiver here, and I've got my Nova OSD mounted over here. Lots of wires in the middle. Um, everything sort of just fits in. And what I have is the antenna wire that goes out there, and another one goes out this side here. So that's basically the way I've got mine set up. Um, I've had to add a bit of weight to the tail to uh, balance it all out, but look, for the most part, it seems to work quite well. Um, no drama gaining altitude or anything like that at all. Um, everything else on this aircraft is pretty much stock. I'm still using the stock uh, horns on it. Um, I can't think of anything else that I can actually tell you. I've, I've got the horns epoxied in place, but everything else is pretty much stock on this aircraft. So um, look, I hope you found that useful. If you have any specific questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them if I can. So there you go. Thanks for watching and don't forget thumbs up and subscribe.